Assalamualaikum and hello everyone. Welcome to a new video for 5.1 Gas. So in this video, um, what we're going to explain is actually explain ideal and non-ideal behavior of gases in terms of intermolecular forces and molecular volume. So on your notes, it will be on page 13. Okay, so this is actually, uh, I have shown it to you, kan? first video of 5.1 Gas. So this is actually um, how the movement of our gas, ataupun the ideal gas. So based upon our kinetic molecular theory, uh, some of it we're going to discuss here when comparison, compare, for the comparison between ideal and ideal gas. So again, bit, uh, for the ideal gas itself, we're going to assume there are no intermolecular force or attraction between gas molecules. So that's why lah, all the molecules ni are able to move in random rapid motion. And the gas molecule have no significant volume. Ataupun yang dalam point yang uh, first page dia kata negligible volume. Ha. Negligible tu maksudnya no significant. Ha. We can The volume of the gas molecule itself can be ignored. So that is the ideal lah. Ha. The ideal gas tu lah. From there lah kita yang belajar yang apa nama dia? Yang all the gases law tu. Ha. Which is based upon our ideal gas. But in real life, that is not how the gas behave. So, sebenarnya, in real life, yeah. okay, uh, for the real gas, the attractive forces between gas molecule are significant. So, contohnya, kalau kita tengokkan, between the gas molecule itself ni, uh, dia ada attraction. So, bila dia ada attraction, uh, uh, the molecule itself ni uh, does not move in rapid random motion lah. So, bila dia ada attraction, maknanya dia akan rapat macam ni kan. So, dia tak mampulah nak laju-laju yang macam tadi tu. Uh, macam our uh, apa ni, ideal gas itself okay, So that is uh, the first point of comparison For the ideal gas versus real gas And then actually the volume of the gas molecules itself is significant Sebab sebenarnya in, real, uh, in ideal gas we're talking about volume tu Usually the volume of container lah where we have our gas Tapi sebenarnya vo gas ni itself ada dia punya own volume Okay so, in ideal gas, we obey PV equal to nRT. Ha. From here lah, it's actually when we combine our, apa ni, what do you call that? Charles law, Boyce law and Avogadro's law. Okay, again, all of it is based upon our ideal gas assumption. Tapi in real, in real life, ataupun in real gas, sebenarnya they obey Van der Waal equation. So, Van der Waal equation ni, is actually this sebenarnya, most lagi ada PV, Ha, tapi M tak ada. PV dengan RT. Tapi ada something yang ada tambah lagi. So, what is it that we're gonna discuss? Uh, first, kita akan tengok eh. From this equation ni, kita nampak we have E. E ni is actually a constant related to the strength of uh, IMF between molecule. Because remember that actually, bila ada apa ni? When the strength of intermolecular forces tu, kita assume dia adalah insignificant ataupun tidak ada. But actually in real life ada. So that's why lah kita includekan A in our equation. And B pula, this one is constant related to the volume occupied by gas molecule. So yang this is actually volume of gas molecule itself lah. It's not the volume of the container tu. Okay, sebab yang question ni ada juga tanya based upon past year. So, these two question is actually a past year question. So, yang ni kita jawab sama-sama lah. Okay. So, kita tengok dekat sini. Okay, explain how assumption in either gas equation are addressed for real gas in the Van der Waal equation where B and B, v, A and B are the Van der Waal constant. Okay, so sekarang ni we're gonna explain. Dia nak minta explain Tentang uh, about our attractive force dengan volume of gas. So, first thing first, what I'm going to explain yang in terms of E. So, kita bagi tahu dulu, first ni, what is actually constant of E? E ni is related, a constant related to strength of IMF between molecules. So, kita tulislah di sini. So, sebenarnya, okay, so we're talking about E ni related to the strength of intermolecular forces between the molecule. Okay, kenapa E ni kita includekan dia dengan yang pressure ni? Why? Okay, sebab bila intermolecular forces ni is actually, bila kita kata sebenarnya attraction tu is high between all, between the molecule, uh, between the molecule itself. So, sebenarnya nanti, dia punya collision dia, dia tidaklah jadi uh, constant rapid motion tu. Sebab sekarang ni, from this diagram, it's actually, 
Yang ini bila tidak ada inter, uh, tidak ada attraction. So, bila ada attraction, contohnya kan ada attraction between the molecule itself ni. Uh, so, the movement of the gas particle tu will be slower. So, bila the movement between the gas particle ni will be, uh, will be slower, what will happen? The chances ataupun the probability um, of the molecule tu to collide with the uh, wall of container tu is low. So, what happen is that the pressure of the gas itself will reduce ataupun will decrease. Kita bagi tahu dia sebenarnya significant. So, what would happen sebenarnya and it will reduce the gas pressure. Sebab dah movement dia is slow kan. So, bila uh, movement dah slow, Ha, susah lah dia nak collide dengan yang tepi ni Maksudnya probability tu is lower lah ha, So what would happen Sebab sebenarnya when we talking about pressure Kita uh, mention tentang yang collision between gas molecule dengan wall The factor of A over V squared ni yang kita tambahkan Sebab originally kan dia PV equal to NRT kan So we mention that this term is added to the equation That is for uh, factor of A. So, sekarang ni, B ni uh, tentang apa pula? Okay. So, about B ni, uh, B ni nampak balik. B ni is related to the volume occupied by gas molecule. So, kita tulislah. B is related to the volume of gas molecule. Okay, but then I just want to show it to you. Uh, volume of gases molecule tu, is actually very small kan? So, dia tak ambil, does not take... Uh, does not take up too many species in the container. Tapi sebenarnya only ini sahaja yang available. Uh, the the blue one ni sahaja yang available by the molecule. Sebab sebenarnya all of it is being occupied by the gas molecule itself. So uh, based upon here, ideally dia kata gas molecule have no significant volume. But sebenarnya in a real gas, okay, the volume of gas is significant. So we have to write down. Dalam kes ni, volume ni will increase. So, sebenarnya kalau sebab tu lah, so sepatutnya volume dia ni akan increase kan. But we want it to be um, behave as in ideal. So, sebab tu lah, B ni kita akan tolakkan. The factor of B, then we're going to explain lah uh, the factor of B. Ataupun kita punya constant tu is being subtracted ke, is being added in the equation. So, kita tulis dekat sini. That's it for the explain assumption in ideal gas equation. Ha. So, yang ini pun, this is based, uh, actually based upon past year question. Ha, dia macam banyak explanation kan, ha. so pening sikit. Tapi, no worry, kamu boleh tengok lagi sekali kalau tak faham. Okay, next question. Okay, the vulnerable constant for helium gas and xenon gas are given in the following table. State the gas that is expected to behave ideally and deviated from ideal behavior. Okay, so sebenarnya... Ha, okay, E dengan B ni is actually a deviation lah. Maksudnya a factor that when we're discussing uh, about real gas. So, kalau boleh, kita nak E dengan B ni to be a very very small value. Ha, sebenarnya kita nak small value lah. Supaya bolehlah kita dapat dekat dengan PV equal to NRT. So, ideally what we want is that. So, ideally kita nak low value of A dengan low value of B. Okay, so kita tengok dekat sini. Okay, so from here, as we can see, we have our helium. So, helium ni, kita tengok, dia ada low A value, uh, it's very low lah, 0.0 and low B value, 0.02380. Tapi, kalau xenon ni, kita tengok volume of B dia is low, 0 0.05105. Tapi dia punya volume of A is high, 4.250. Uh, so, from here, we can mention that helium is our ideal gas law sebab dia have small value of A and B. So, kita kena bagi tahulah. So, ideal behavior kita. Okay, and then, uh, kita bagi, kenapa kita kata dia punya uh, helium as in our ideal behavior sebab dia ada low A value which means that maknanya there is uh, apa ni the IMF 
between gas molecule are insignificant. V value would where uh, is low. So, bila value of V is low, maknanya gas molecules have no significant. Okay, so that is actually for our uh, ideal behavior. So, kalau um, apa ni, non-ideal behavior ataupun deviated from ideal behavior. So, means buat non-ideal lah eh. So, my non-ideal behavior. But then we mentioned that, okay. Value of E dia is high lah. Ha, sebab kalau kita compare dengan E ni, ha, dia punya ni is high. So, kita tulis lah. So, the high E value. It means that the intermolecular forces between the gas molecule ni are significant. Lepas tu apa lagi? But then, dia punya B value, ha, dia adalah, kita tak boleh kata dia adalah high. Sebenarnya pun dia is kira low juga kan, 0.0 something. Ha, tapi kita kena tulis lah. So, yang ini miss copy paste saja yang ini. From here, so even though dia satu sahaja, satu sahaja yang dia, um, apa ni, um, high value. Tapi sebenarnya kita compare kan between these two, ada yang ideal, ada yang non-ideal. So, yang ideal dia is actually where it has low value of A and low value of B. Ha, so, bila helium is our ideal behavior, Zeno will be the non-ideal behavior. Okay. So, that is actually for question number, uh, for examples on page 13. Ha, yang ni dia banyak main explanation sikit. Ha, so, again, uh, what is the deviation? Ha, sebenarnya, it is based upon our attractive forces dengan our volume. Sebenarnya, real gas ni can behave as in ideal gas. So, macam mana dia nak behave as if ideal gas? Yang ini kita akan ambil condition where there is no intermolecular force atau attraction between the gas molecule ni. Okay, so at which condition? So, let's look here. Okay, at condition at which real gases obey ideal gas behavior is actually when low pressure and high temperature. Okay, at low pressure, what will happen to the volume of the container is, is that the volume of container will be high because based upon Bohr's law, is that volume is inversely proportional to pressure. So, when the volume of the container is high, the distance between the gas molecule will increase. Okay. So, what happens is that once the volume of container is high ni, the distance between the gas molecule ni will be getting, uh, will increase. Sebab contohnya kalau volume kita kecil, ha, kan dekat-dekat kan sahaja kita punya gas molecule ni kan dan pressure dia pun tinggi. Tapi kalau volume of container is high, kita punya pressure akan low jadi 5.2 and the distance between the gas molecule ni is uh, increase. So, kita tulislah dekat sini. The distance between the gas molecule increase. So, when the molecule is further away from each other, the attractive forces tu akan jadi insignificant. So, bila dia jadi insignificant, maknanya susah lah nak attraction tu kan sebab dah makin jauh. Kalau dia dekat macam ni, so, attractive, uh, when the distance tu makin dekat, uh, senang lah nak ada attractive forces tu. Tapi, bila kita makin jauh, Ha, susah lah nak ada attractive forces between the gas. So, at low pressure, volume of the container is high, distance pun akan increase, the attractive forces are insignificant. So, next kita tengok pada high temperature. So, bila high temperature, the average kinetic energy of the molecule will increase. So, what will happen is that the molecule will move faster. So, sama juga, bila dia move faster, lagi banyak um, lagi banyak movement kan so the attractive forces between gas molecule tu pun kira insignificant okay so kiranya di sini uh, uh, in which condition real gas behave ideally is actually low pressure and high temperature where for this case uh, what happen is that the attractive forces tu akan jadi insignificant okay tapi ada juga partial question yang dia minta okay Kalau real gas jadi ideal gas, uh, low pressure, high temperature. So, kalau ideal gas pula nak jadi macam real gas, so what will happen? It will be the other way around lah. Okay, so at high pressure, okay, the volume of the container will be low. So, the distance between the gas molecule will decrease. So, the attractive forces between gases are significant. Whereas, kalau at low temperature, the average kinetic of the, the gas molecule decrease. 
the molecule will move slower, the attractive forces between gas molecule pun kira significant. Okay, so that is actually um, at last one. Okay, so, so this is actually kita punya conclusion juga. So remember, for the high temperature and low pressure, we will behave as in ideal gas. Tapi low temperature and high pressure uh, will behave as in real gas. So I'm just going to write it down here. Yang ini adalah real gas. So for the ideal gas, remember, what we want is that the volume of the molecule is insignificant. And that there are no force of attraction exists between the molecule. Okay. So, this is actually the summary juga. And then, uh, this one. Real gas versus ideal gas. So, kalau contohnya, kamu pun ni, uh, benda ni banyak lah ni, nak faham ya. Uh, sebenarnya, okay, kalau kita nak concludekan real gas versus um, ideal gas. So, kalau real gas, kita assume that particles have volume and the intermolecular forces exist. Uh, ini sahaja sebenarnya nak bagi tahu. Tapi yang ini kan, ah, yang ni in terms of yang kalau wordy sikit lah. Ah, kalau ada nak minta explanation daripada sini. Tapi just for your um, understanding. So you know that the real gas, that the particles have volume. Ah, ada significant volume and intermolecular forces exist. Whereas kalau ideal gas, the gas molecule ni tak ada volume pun. Ah, sebab tu lah kamu nampak ni kecil je bandingkan dengan yang real gas ni. And then, there are no interaction between particles. Ha, kat sini kan ada interaction ni yang ni. Adanya intermolecular forces. Tapi kalau ideal gas, um, apa ni, we assume that there is no attractive forces. So, that is the last of 5.1 gas.